I'm John Biggs, and we are back at Hardware Alley at TechCrunch Disrupt 2014 in San Francisco. Right now, we're walking up and down the alley randomly. We're going to be speaking to people with flying stuff in our heads. It's a, uh, it's a fascinating time for everyone. And this young man right here wants to tell us all about his indoor atlas. Hi, I'm from Indoor Atlas, and I'm, our company provides indoor GPS. And how does that work? So it works uh, without any hardware deployment, and uh, we give you uh, better than nine feet accuracy indoors, and it works on both iOS and uh, Android platforms. All right, and what's your website? Uh, www.indooratlas.com. And it's ready to go? You're ready to start shipping this kind of thing? Uh, it's not commercially available. We're in beta release. Okay. And uh, I encourage everybody to go who is curious to go and download the um, That's the important stuff. Everybody, yes. we, we could use it in here, right? Yes, it's, it's anywhere. Very useful. All right. Any indoor space at all. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Let's talk to these guys. What are you up to? I already talked about it, but let's talk about it. Be like we didn't talk. Hello. Let's pretend we don't know each other. <laughs> Say, oh, hi, how are you? Oh, hi, uh, this is uh, Lens Bricks. How yep. are you doing? Good, good, good. And at Lens Bricks, uh, we are a startup from uh, MIT Media Lab, Professor Ramesh yep. Shastra, and myself from Ex Nokia. We started this company, Lens Bricks, for imaging for insights. Mm -hmm. We provide powerful video analytics using smart sensing combined with powerful machine learning. And we uh, give business owners, consumers, a crystal glass so that they can mine insights and have better decisions. So this is perfect for spying on people, right? Right, you can do very accurate people tracking, you can do people accurate people counting, and since we combine multiple dimensions of light, we can draw very powerful insights. So you could put this on like a camera and then NSA could watch us walk around right. and tag us? Yeah, you can You can imagine you could put it uh, in consumer applications like at homes, you can imagine it in business scenarios, in sports, it has multitude of opportunities. But it's mostly military, right? No, no, no. no? It's, uh, the whole point is to bring this at a cost point where anybody can use it. And we, it is not like a high-end, uh, high-end sensor, very expensive sensor. We are trying to bring it at low cost. All right, all right. So it's actually for shops and stuff. So you go yeah. to the shop and you can see how many people are walking around. So, all the other sensing yeah. stuff. So today we have put it in six stores across both US and India, and we can track people, people very accurately. So even if you go and come back, still we can track the people. All right. And we can do accurate people counting, accurate people tracking. Yeah. All right, lens bricks. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Look at this thing, look, 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 what do you got? What is this? Is this both you guys? This is us. Um, so we are Keyboardium. We're making keyboards that are comfortable and um, totally hackable. So it's based around Arduino firmware. It's all open source, open hardware. So these keyboards are broken. So what's going to happen with, are you going to make real, like long keyboards, right? Because so, these are like that. Yeah, so these are designed basically the way your hands work, as opposed to the way that a typewriter was built in the 1970s. My hands century. work like that, just back and forth. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move them. I can't move them at angles. Uh, I, had, so I, I had my hand reset, cracked and reset, like Peter Townsend once. Oh, really? So I can't use this at all. No, not really. But what's okay. <laughs> this is for? This is for like carpal tunnel, right? Um, so it's really for anyone who types a lot. Um, so we're trying to build the best tool we can. Um, you know, the keyboard is the tool that you use to input anything into a computer. It's the tool of the modern knowledge worker. And so we're trying to build something that's comfortable, you can use all day. You know, people who have repetitive stress injuries are certainly some of the people who are more avid about it, but it's really for anybody. All right, I like that you're making it out of wood. Are you going to make the final ones out of wood? We are. That would be pretty badass, because nobody yeah. has that. Nobody has that, and it's a great material. It's lightweight, it's beautiful, it's And durable. you can burn it when the zombie apocalypse comes. Indeed. Indeed. All right, thank you guys. There they are. What are you guys working on? What is that? What is that? Hi, I'm a co-founder of the Innovative Company. Yeah. We have the world's first 100 gig boards. So we're able to monitor networks like T-Mobile and TNT Verizon. And uh, we not only monitor them, we uh, deliver complete analytic functions. You probably heard about the troubles with the US banks that had started corporation yeah, yeah, yeah. that had and so on. So we complement standard uh, security offerings like firewalls, UGMs, IPS, and we are doing network behavior analysis. All right, so it's NV attack, right? NV attack, right. Pretty cool. All right, thanks, guys. These guys are disrupting the, the thing that does the stuff. Uh, this stuff does the other stuff. Look at this guy right here. This is our, this is our favorite little friend. Look, he's flying it. Look at that. Hello, hello. Visit us at microdrone.com. <laughs>
Hey, how are you doing, John? Is this the littlest drone? This is the new nano drone. You just, so, you guys starting to sell these too? Yeah, so um, we saw like a, um, yeah, there's lots of little mini drones coming out now, but this, this is we, haven't, we haven't got one, so we developed this, this one. And look at this, they got the bigger drone too, right? Yeah, so this is them. Um, oh, Oops. Oops. <laughs> and this is the expansion pack. So basically it turns the small drone into the big drone. So you can click them together like that. So you can turn the small drone into the big drone. Just pop it in like that and plug it in. All modular so you can just change them. Plug it in like this. So what we'll do is pick up a little flight now. So it flies exactly the same way as the, as the micro drone. We're using the same controller. I'm gonna step back. Here we go. So you got speed and you got agility. It works in exactly the same way, really fast. And anybody who's got a micro drone can turn it into the big drone with just a $30 kit. They can use the same. Um, the now, same arguably, you're far better at this than me. Whenever I try this, I always like end up like slamming into a wall. I guess it's blackness, right? It's a bit of blackness, yeah. There's a bit of a learning curve, as you know. All right. um, but um, we're working on the stability, um, so that we can use more advanced sensors like compasses and uh, maybe ultrasonic sensors for. Um, and when are you selling the Tweet Kini Weenie drone? That'll be out in um, November. All right. And very so exciting. Anyone who's got um, the micro drone can use the um, the Tweety Weenie one. Um, expansion pack. Um, one one big thing for TechCrunch we're launching today. This is new. Um, you remember the, uh, New York, we were showing you the um, the camera. Yeah. And now we're launching this ultra high resolution camera. So um, this is the this is the um, oh. so this is the current camera, um, and that's the footage you can get from it. Um, I'll just show you the difference. Um, so this guy is flying 300 feet in the air, and this is the current camera. But now we're launching this amazing ultra high resolution camera. It's a much bigger um, bigger pixel. And it's, um, this was flying just over the battlefield a few moments ago, and um, it's much, much higher clarity. So you can get really good, really good um, crisp footage with this. Oh wow! So this is the new one. That's pretty nice. What do you think of that? That's really nice. Like we tried to we tried to fly a drone in here, and it didn't work. It didn't. It didn't. It wasn't very high quality. I'll send you the. I'll send you some footage of that. All right, very nice. cool. We'll do a kind of flyover. Right, maybe. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're always here because you just always you come over here and you do all kinds of crazy stuff fly drones around, so it's very good for people. Uh, one more thing is, um, we've got this um, live stream now. We've got a live stream camera. Um, so a lot of people were saying uh, they, want, they want a, a live stream um, camera, not just saving onto the SD card. So we've, we've done that now, and um, we've got this it's, um, live stream camera. But people were saying, um, with a Parrot AR drone, you have to look down at the iPhone or the iPad to see it. So, and, um, and things like the Oculus Rift are, are good for FPV. But they're not for everybody because they're quite expensive. So we're using them. Um, we're going one step further and using Google Cardboard. And so we're using this Google Cardboard as the FPV kit. So it streams live to the um, Google Cardboard and uses these optical lenses to to focus the footage into your eye. And it's got an um, iPhone in the middle of it, um, so you can uh, pick that out like that, and you can stream it live. And so everybody walks around with the best FPV function in their pocket, which is the iPhone. Mm -hmm. and, and then you can make this up just like, like a cereal box, all cardboard and using these focal lenses to, um, to uh, just kind of make it nice. And when are these going to take, uh, have intelli human intelligence and be able to take over and replace essentially all human, all, all human uh, humans? Yeah, that's the future, isn't it? Um, we're gonna have drones <laughs> flying everywhere, um, and they'll and they'll actually do them. They'll reproduce and they'll eat us. Yeah, and, they, and you'll be the you'll be the cause. That's, That's it. it. That's yeah, it. thanks for that. Thanks for there'll destroying be, us all. There'll be millions of these little things buzzing around, and they'll just they'll just rip us to shreds, make a slurry, and they'll eat us. <laughs> so thanks for that. That's it. Really like appreciate that. that. Great. Thank all you, right. John. Thanks, Blackie. What are you up to over here? Hello, hello. What's the name? Is Gary Vias, and we have a product that we believe will disrupt the electric motor world, particularly the EV space. And the, the reason is because we have a motor that is a new technology far from what we've seen for the past 100 years. Okay. The, first one, the first one 
the Nikolai Tesla motor has been uh, around for 100 years. And in fact, the Tesla motor, as we see now, is, is, as installed in the Tesla motor, sure. Tesla car, is still the old 100-year uh, technology. Okay. What we've done is, uh, Max, uh, is take advantage of the Halbach uh, discovery, which was uh, discovered by Halbach, uh, Klaus Halbach, uh, at Livermore about 1980s and uh, built a motor. So it's lighter, kind of it's cost, more cost effective? Yes, double the power, half the size with the same power, and significantly lighter. And the very important thing is it will solve the range anxiety problem in right. EVs. So when are we going to, when are these going to be uh, commercialized? The, there, there's a lot of avenues, a lot of markets that we're looking at, and uh, we we want investors. All right. So, so we'll send them to your way. That's Halbach Motors? Halbach Motors. All right, perfect. Send them Thank our you. Way. All right. Sounds Thank good. Thank you.